The name is ubiquitous. You see it everywhere, in the skies, on satellite TV, in multi-mega projects, and even on our boys in blue, Sahara. But who is the man behind it? Rated amongst the most powerful in the country, he's also an enigma. I am delighted to meet Sahara Shri Shubhat Roy and his wife, Shwapna. Just let your thoughts, your dreams unfold. Let's talk of love, of tales untold. Speak so I can see. Thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure to have you here. Thank you for calling. Thank you. You know, so dizzying has been the speed of your success that we haven't had time to find out who is this man, Shubhrut Roy? What kind of a person is he? And how did he do it? Well, I'm a simple human like any other. I also started my work like any other male they start for their livelihood and family's livelihood. But you know, the legends are made on the story of the first million. So, um, you are a qualified mechanical engineer. How, how did you hit upon the idea of parabanking? Well, actually, uh, it had just started in Gorakhpur, this activity. I, I, I found that many people, they never thought of saving. So, I used to tell them that if you save small, small amount, then at times you can get secured loan out of it. I used to go to them. I used to just small shopkeeper, even Bandwalas, we uh, used to take deposit, small deposits, 15 rupees, 30 rupees That's a month, or that kind of deposits. And we used to have different, different kind of benefits for them. They also started enjoying it. So it worked. Did you go out personally? I did personally. I had a scooter. I used to roam around. I used to make depositors. I think if the old records are taken out, they will have my handwriting. You didn't have any institution backing you. No. For them, you were just this guy on an umbrella. What prompted a stranger to hand you over his or her life saving? It was our own personal image or family's image. Mm. That worked initially. Family. So they knew you. So they knew me very well, my family very well. But why did you succeed over regularized banks? The service aspect. Even today, our boys, they go to the doorsteps. Oh, to the people's houses. Yeah. Majority of the money we are collecting through daily deposit accounts. And our boys are real expert in that. Our company has developed such expertise with such beautiful control system. Today, one out of how many Indians deposits with Sahara Bank? One out of 31 Indians. You started off with how many people? There was a clerk, there was a peon. That was Sahara. Two people. Two people. And now you have 700,000 workers. Yes. How much was your investment in the beginning? 2,000 rupees. <laughs> to pay the salary in one month. And now the asset base of the company is? Almost 50,000 crores. So you are worth? Uh -huh, emotionally, yes. What do you mean emotionally? Definitely, yes. But if you talk about strictly, technically, the personal. Mm. My personal asset, including my family, my wife, jewelry, etc., 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 on this earth, should not be 50 lakhs, between 50, 60, 70 lakhs, I think. What? And that only my wife saved that, out of salary. <laughs> I did, I did, I couldn't save. <laughs> what are you saying? I know, that's why I don't say. People will not believe it. <laughs> One more thing I would like to add here. Whatever my personal asset is, but the life I'm enjoying, I think better than many. Dhirubhai Ambani said, 
My success is my worst enemy. It created intense envy. Yes, he is right. What he said, he was very right. But I'll put it this way, ki, it's a very natural thing in human society. Have you ever encountered uh, any resentment? You see, the path of success cannot be so easy. Then everybody will walk. It has to have a lot of problems, a lot of obstacles. Sudden wealth, sudden rise to power does generate jealousy and resentment amongst people. Well, it's natural. It's a yeah. human nature. I generally feel pity for them who are jealous. Yes, they are jealous. And uh, they talk nonsense, baseless. They are very small people, small mind. I feel sad for them. I feel pity for them. It doesn't disturb me. Many people have said that uh, Sahara is backed by political money. <laughs> but the fact is, there were so many such allegations, yeah. etc. We tried and took out the names from the computer that if there are political people also with small, small schemes also, <laughs> there we didn't find even those people with small deposits also. Tell me something, Sahara Shri. Are real friends made in good times or hard times? You see, uh, the most important thing in friendship is the trust, which takes its own time. Even anybody you have met in good time, and if genuinely honest to each other, the trust will be generated. But yes, when I meet my old friends, around 80, 90 of my school, college old friends, friends, they're all working with me. Yeah. And I, I love to meet them. Now when you are so wealthy and so influential, when people try and get close to you, do you have an kind of an antenna that can tell uh, which people are... Easily. Easily. Most of the people, they reveal. It's not a difficult thing. I try to study a person through the eyes. You've understood people. What have you learned from them? Every human have both characteristics in them. We are born with it. God and evil, we have both. Like we two are sitting, talking mm. so nicely. Now, if I take out a revolver, I say, I want to kill you. <laughs> so you'll not say, okay, okay, Mr. I kill me. You'll try to save yourself and you, in the process probably you'll try to, you'll try to kill me also. We react. What I found that if human, they get the right environment of justice, no discrimination environment, mm. they always love to live with the domination of positive practice. True. As it happens with so many people, have you now barricaded yourself or are you accessible? Uh, truly speaking, I'm accessible, but technically, I have very badly barricaded myself. Very badly. Recently, my younger son, he wanted to sit with me for some good personal mm. discussion. Twice he came in the night. At 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, my meeting was continuing. I told, better, better tomorrow. I sat with him after seven days of his desire to meet me. I hate to do this, but it's impossible to be accessible to. That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Today you're labeled as the Nawab of Abad. Come a long way. Does your family and those people who you knew before, do they recognize you as the same person? I'm the same person. Haven't you changed? Uh, you have to ask others for that, for this answer. But I can tell you, no. I'm going to ask your wife now. <laughs> <laughs> Shafnaji, tell me this is not the man you married, no? Not at all. <laughs> no, it. not at all. He's very different from that 19-year-old you met. I keep telling everybody who knows him now, I said, he's just not the person he is today. He was so different. Like how? He was uh, very fun-loving and, you know, very romantic. Absolutely, oh my God. Now he's become very serious, a lot of work and very busy. Totally different person. Sahagashree. <laughs> because I am no more romantic. <laughs> you don't, he doesn't have time for romanticism, I feel. Yes. He's yes. gone to his work. <laughs> and you let it happen. I had no choice. But you know, Simiji, it's not like uh, I, I don't feel it because it happened so gradually. But tell me it's about like that 19-year-old you met. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> what was he like? <laughs> he was... Very dashing, you know, the typical, you know, Mills and Boons hero, you know, used to read in school. Very chivalrous and 
too romantic and I was just the opposite. I was very quiet, a very, you know, simple type of a girl. Okay. So he simply swept me off my feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, um, uh, then where and how did you meet? We met in Calcutta. Some, Some common friends. friends house. In those days, you were not living in Calcutta, were you? No. You were with no, no, none of us. I was in Hyderabad. So you just happened to be there yeah. at the same yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was on a holiday. I was also in holiday and we met. And you flipped. Yeah. Love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that attracted you? I mean, I can see it. You see, any male strongly like a beauty of a female. Mm. And then she was all along a good singer. When did you hear her sing first? During those days only. Yeah. What, what, what did you sing? Uh, some, must be some film song, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least one song I remember. She used to sing a lot. For me, particularly, probably. Na jia lage na, tere bina jia lage na, something like that. <laughs> and I used to get real excitement in the mentorship. <laughs> I used to be so important. Huh? Because the words were for Tempered. you. Tempered. <laughs> did you mean the words for him? Of course I did. Of course. Then I used to sing all the words that I, were meant for him. And you'd beat regularly? Or? No, not regularly. How often? Average once in a year or so. Very rarely. But we used to write letters. It was a very regular thing. Letter was a very, very, very regular. regular. And he used to have, write very romantic, long letters. And my letters used to be short. <laughs> <laughs> Little yes. dull, but short, but nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the total things went on for seven years. Good chip. <laughs> but, but he had a lot of girls after him. Huh? <laughs> oh, yes. He had a long line of girls. No. How do you know? How do you know? I, he only told me. He, <laughs> he only told, told me. Yes. And, and did you mind? No. I thought I felt very proud to be the one that he chose out of <laughs> How, so before, many. Before marriage, yes, I sat with her once and I said, uh -huh. since you're not going to get married, you must know each and everything of my life. That's good. And then I took hours to explain her, tell her everything of my life of the past. In any relationship, sharing is the most important thing. Mm. Then comes caring. In those seven years when you were with him, did you see any jhalak of the potential that he had? He was always a leader, always, even in college as to hear his stories. So he had that quality, that leadership quality was always there in him, mm. right from the beginning. Okay, but you could never see no. that it could go so no, far? No, not at all. I couldn't even, ever, even imagine at that time. When you got married and went to Gorakhpur to live as his wife, what sort of a life did you have? You know, the first house he took me to, the mm. first house that we, our house, mm. after we got married, very proudly, you know, he took me inside, come, I'll show you the house we're going to live in. So I went inside and I saw it was a one room, small a room, and it had a tin roof. And that tin roof also had little holes in it, you know, and when it rained, it dripped water. And we had a sort of a charpa, you know, katya type. And when it's rained, we used to put the katya from here to there. Oh, to you know, that sort. <laughs> but I think that was our first house and it was lovely. It's lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> she used to cook. I think of it now. I used to cook at that time. No servants, nothing. Keep house for him. You both are actually quite different personalities. Yeah, absolutely. He's, He's totally flamboyant. Yeah. Dynamic. You know, energetic. Just the opposite. <laughs> You're reserved, quiet, <laughs> simple. Actually, she was brought up in a, such a family, very uh, disciplined family. But she never saw anybody taking alcohol mm -hmm. in her life before yeah, marriage. Very small, confined she, family, very small family. She never saw anybody playing some jua or cards. cards. So long we thought, no, for us it was like something very bad, you know, drinking mm -hmm. and playing cards with money, you know, it was. What I happened <laughs> after the marriage, after the marriage, I took her first time to Gorakhpur, mm. my place. 
So all my friends were there, very excited. Bhabi is coming. So we are in a hotel room. They opened the bottle to celebrate. She left the room. <laughs> no, no, I can't sit. I can't sit. They, they, they got embarrassed and they, they, they felt the problem. They could realize also, my friends. They said, okay, Bhabi, no, no alcohol today. We'll only play cards. She said, no, not Not even cards? cards. <laughs> <laughs> but that helped also. I used to, I used to booze. I used to think, yes. So what happened once? My father was not there. Mm. I took his bottle out, and I started drinking, 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 drinking. She didn't say anything. She was crying, crying, crying. Tears were out. The same, similar quantity of tears were coming out. <laughs> and I became so emotional. The end of the bottle almost. I went to her, took the oath, okay, I'll not give you so much of tears. And then probably eight, ten years I did oh, that. Was, that is straight eight, ten years I did yeah, that. More years. than ten years. It all helped me. Like I tell you, yes, I studied always in, I'll call it Khapra school kind, where only Hindi was the medium. But she was from the convent. When she started writing a letter in English, that <laughs> ego, I said, I should also write in English. <laughs> Though it was difficult for me, I tell you very frankly. After marriage, maybe one year after marriage, mm. one evening I came back and I saw all my letters on the <laughs> bed. And I said, oh, she is very romantic today. Yeah. Oh, she has brought out all the letters. I was, I was feeling so good and, <laughs> and I said, what are you doing with the letters? Well, sit, sit, I will tell you, I will tell you. I said, she said, actually I was thinking since a long, to correct your English. <laughs> And she did it. <laughs> did you really? I told him the mistakes he made, but uh, maybe more not, mistakes, not in no. that way. More, more, more mistakes than the correct English it was. <laughs> so our, our, our friendship, our partnership is like this and it's beautiful. Tell me, do you uh, discuss your business uh, decisions at all with uh, your wife? I couldn't. I couldn't handle his business. Do you, are you aware of all that he's doing? Not. Not all the things. <laughs> Once when I was flying uh, and somebody came and asked me, how does it feel to be sitting on your own aircraft? Yeah. Then first time I realized, oh, it's supposed to be my aircraft. <laughs> I, I, it didn't occur to me also. For a shy introvert, have you had to change yourself a lot to keep up with him? Yes, I had to. Because I, I'm quite poor in expression, you know. I'm not very good at expression, expressing myself. Like he's very warm yeah. and that warmness of his made me seem very cold, you know, and maybe people thought I was a big snob or something. But then I learned, I saw him yeah. and I slowly, slowly, yes, I developed. What was the difficult part? I, I think it was my nature. I was basically a little shy mm. and lacked confidence. Lacked confidence? I do. I feel I don't have a lot of confidence. I do lack self-confidence. She is very simple, I am. homely. Anybody else in my position? who had a lot of confidence and little outgoing, could have probably done a lot of other things also. I could have, maybe. In family matters, I've seen she has, she's so strong. Right. She's so energetic. But even then, I don't feel I'm up to what he is. No, 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 you're fine. You're, <laughs> you're more wonderful. Than fine. You're I, more than fine. In your case, women could, you say women would have done a lot. Women would have also been arrogant. Women would have also flaunted and showed off and used their clout. But the fact is that none of this has touched you. That's I will add to you know, th these words that, yes, from my point of view, she was the right woman. Yes. And she took care of the family so well, which would give me all the and freedom to build, to, uh, freedom, mm. to build a bigger family. Yes. So Otherwise I, you think, could... I think she is right. Mm. Had you been a very that no. different guy, it would have been a problem for me probably. <laughs> Recently when your sons got married, Big, big, big the marshal. Got a lot of media speculation. I wish the wedding was more simple. I would like to have been very simple affair. I wanted a different thing. We both wanted. But simple. many, many people in the organization, they didn't agree. I said, let's go for a simple marriage ceremony. And then we said, let's do. So they said, no, 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 no. Then I said, either this way or oh, in another extreme. <laughs> How much of a family life do you have today? It depends. Or, 
or does the bigger paribar get <laughs> priority? Yeah. Yes. They do. Day to day, it is not no, always possible. Because he's actually, always in his meetings. I used to quarrel a lot when he used to be very busy and I used to wait for him, he used to come late and I used to, you know, mm. a little bit uh, quarrel with him. Why are you late and you didn't take me out? It but happened. one thing I would like to say, now last 15 years or so, not a minute of any difference, any chagra kind, any abhiman kind, any problem between me and her. Last 15 years is a, is a, is a, is a Record. thing... Yes, it's, it's a thing to be recorded. And it's well, also, you need for a jagra, you have to have time. <laughs> no, not time. Not time. <laughs> you recently brought out a music video album called Kabhi. Yes. It's, it's about your love story. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love the way you've sung it. How yeah. did it go? She has to sing. Kabhi zindagi mein mujhe tum mile the. 30 years later, had the expressions of love changed? It's more mature, more beautiful. He doesn't have to tell me that he loves me. I know it. Uh, so many actions, years it's, together, it's, no? it's you, like, you understand. It's there. But tell me, Shwabnaji, do you ever miss the normal, ordinary life that you used to have before? Yes, of course I do miss him. A lot of times I do. I wish he was there. I love to, would love to go on holidays with him. But then it's very rare, but it's all right. Because so much has changed in your life. Yeah, I mean, uh, where you both used to go together on a lambretta, yes. now there is a fleet of <laughs> chauffeur driven cars. <laughs> where there used to be meals on the sidewalk, yeah. now there are a retinue of servants. <laughs> where you used to go in rickshaws. We and really miss rickshaws. Rickshaws and the night shows we used to night go Night shows see. and rickshaws we really miss. We miss them those moments because now helicopters transport you <laughs> a family of two sons now a paribar of 700,000 a one-room home has become a presidential palace these are the symbols of achievement but have you lost anything on the way I, I don't know, maybe the togetherness that's what we've lost. But there are a lot of other things that I've learned on the way. I've lost him, but then I've got a lot of other things. Then I realized that he was not made for this one small family. So I have to let him go. I have to. I couldn't keep, I couldn't hold on to him. No, don't say that. Exactly. No, it's no. very true. Like if I couldn't be selfish. <laughs> He has so much to do, he's doing so much for everybody. But then we are getting our due, it's not that he's not giving us, no. All of us know that he's there for us. Yeah, that's true. Before going, I'm going to ask you one thing. I want you both to sing for me. Believe me, I'm not a singer. <sighs> but she will manage. Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Aake